My name is Dr. Grace McHugh. I'm the principal investigator of the FAST study. The FAST study stands for the feasibility and acceptability of HIV self-testing in young people and adolescents. The idea of the FAST study came about uh, because it has become apparent that young people are a bit nervous and a bit unwilling to approach healthcare centres and healthcare providers to access HIV testing. So much so that although they are a group that is seeing a high incidence of HIV infection, they are not accessing testing services that are facility based. The FAST study's objective was to determine how feasible and how acceptable it would be to offer HIV self-testing to young people and students on campus at various colleges and universities across Zimbabwe. When our clients come, they are received at the screening area where they are asked questions like if they have tested in the last three months or if they are already on art. If so, they are excluded from the study. But if our clients have never been tested or are not aware of their status or maybe they have tested negative, they are eligible for the study. If our clients are eligible, they are given consent forms which they read through and sign if they are willing to take part in the study. We notify our clients that they are free to decline from the study even if they have signed the consent forms or have been given the test kits. In this study, we are targeting adolescents and young people from the age of 16 to 24. So over the period of May 2019 to April 2020, um, our team of eight peer distributors uh, travelled throughout Zimbabwe to 13 different colleges and uh, universities in four provinces um, to offer HIV self-testing on campus. When the participant comes to the table, interview table, where they are told how to use the kit by demonstration that's done there uh, with one of our share systems, and then they answer a questionnaire where it's basically a series of questions um, about their sex lives. They have an option to do an on-site testing or they go to their homes and do it in their own comfort. If the um, test uh, com comes out reactive, we do a confirmatory test that is bl uh, blood-based. And then if it's reactive again, that is if it's positive, we, we do counselling and then we link them to care. We also offer pre-test counselling. Most of our participants prefer coming in groups. Uh, so so we, that's why we tell them about HIV, what is it about. We issue out condoms so as to try and reduce HIV, new infections, as well as to encourage the participant to engage in safe sex. Over the one year that our study was operational throughout Zimbabwe, we tested over 6,000 students, two-thirds of whom were female, and the median age of those who tested was 21 years of age. One-third of those who opted to take up uh, the HIV self-test were actually first-time testers, so they had never tested for HIV before. Soon after I have an interview table, I know Yapanapa and I'm the one who assisted them on how to do the test. Uh, the first thing to keep in both omu. We ask the client kuti akwanse kuvura kiti yake. Then soon after that, aji vura kiti yake mune mamanya ma, ma rimu anutsa nangura on how to do the test. So as we explain to the client aninga chito ita, then we wait for 20 good minutes. The first thing that we do, tino pa client an option, yekuti apinde awoni marisawuti ake. Then even if they are free, that is if the first thing that we do to enter Marisaus mu tablet questionnaire enter size data and then soon after that we do a result slip so that is not result I just want to be RTI first study. So based on the information we get from the participants, um, self-testing is more appreciated because uh, the participant is able to test themselves. They take control of the whole situation and uh, that's when they get to see their results uh, first before anyone else. Um, so they prefer self-testing as compared to an administered test. So when I came here, I was directed to the first tent where I was given some consent forms. I went through the process of counseling after I got this and then I was then given uh, an oral testing kit and then I was directed to a booth where I tested and then I got my results after 20 minutes. It was so easy to use, so quick and so fast. 
first I was scared because I've tried this before, right? And you know the 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 stigma that we face, like you want to test what did you do, things like that, you know. So I got comfortable because the people that I talked to the first time I came here, they were nice, they they were neutral, they were not judgmental and all that. They just they just took it as someone who just wants to taste and that was that. I feel like I did this whole thing because I wanted to, yeah, like no one was influencing me or forcing me to do it. I would advise people to get tested, either being self-tested or administered, just as long as you get to know your status. But the self-test kit is more viable, I would say, because you do it if you want to expose, if you want to get to know status if you're negative you're good if you're positive you're also good that's what we were told we were cancelled by the uh, team to uh, whichever way, way it goes it's it's always good qualitative interviews that we have done with with the students and with our distribution team um, the results are telling us that this is a highly accepted form of hiv testing students enjoy the autonomy and the independence to be able to choose where and when to test and they enjoyed the fact that um, the distribution team were people who uh, spoke their language, um, understood their challenges, understood their um, concerns with testing at a facility. They did point out that for those who tested reactive, they really appreciated the follow-up phone call. You know, in the following weeks after having a reactive test, how are you doing? Have you managed to, to link to care? Have you managed to tell anyone? Have you uh, someone who can support you through this? Uh, close to 80% of those who had confirmatory tests done were successfully linked to care and have since started on antiretroviral treatment. The FAST study is funded through a Career Research Development Fellowship uh, awarded from the EDCTP to myself um, over a two year period from 2018 to 2020. In summary, I would like to thank the Ministry of Higher and Tertiary Education for allowing us into their institutions across Zimbabwe um, and allowing us to carry out this important study. And last but not least, the students themselves who participated and gave us such valuable feedback and gave of their time and their, their thoughts and ideas on how they uh, felt the study ran and how such a distribution programme could run in the future.